At a high level, we're going to demonstrate Modbus communication. To the left, what you see are two applications that I'm going to use to simulate data moving to and from a Modbus device to an application server. And you can see right now they're both uh, not connected. So to complete the configuration, I need to add the device ID or the address ID of the Modbus client. I will click Open to access the web UI of the ConnectEasy4i. Again, typing in my username and password. I will go to System and Device Configuration. And once this has resolved, I will go to Services and then Modbus Gateway. Scroll down to Clients. I just labeled it Pump. And Modbus Address Filter. Now this can be a singular number or I could do a range. In this case, we will do just the exact device ID or address ID. Click Apply. I'll now minimize this window. This is the client. I'm going to connect using port 5. Click OK. It is now connected. Now we'll go up to the application side. Click Connect. I'm connecting to the IP address of the ConnectEasy4i, and I will click OK. And you can see it's already updated and the data is moving. 